this is Walter Mwasa. I am uh, interim country director for CARE in Bangladesh. Uh, CARE is an organization that has worked in this country since the 70s and even before that, uh, before the partitioning of the country. We are uh, in Bangladesh currently uh, doing what we consider our dual mandate. Uh, we are a development organization and an organization that supports the people of Bangladesh in times of disasters and emergencies. Currently, as we go through this situation with the COVID-19 pandemic that has affected many globally, here in Bangladesh, we have taken the decision to support the government and the people of Bangladesh in dealing with the crisis. Our work in the country is across all the districts. We work currently in 47 districts. And in these districts, we have staff, programs, and partners that have allowed us the space to be able to quickly uh, deploy available resources as we look for more funding to respond to the crisis. Our work has largely focused on providing uh, support to government health officials, especially the frontline staff with protective equipment. We are also working with communities that have been affected in terms of income, uh, and we provide them with either food or cash uh, transfers that help them go through these difficult times. It's indeed a uh, time that many countries will continue to struggle with the impact of their on their economies and health systems and other social systems uh, many months or even years after the crisis was passed. So as an organization, we are also looking at some of the post-COVID uh, uh, crisis situation and how we would get through this. And we are beginning to envision and think through programming that helps uh, the community and the country recover from the impact of this uh, on its people. We are glad that we have a variety of donors. Uh, the Swiss Development Corporation has been one of our biggest donors in our development funding, where we've been working market system programming. We've worked with the US government, we've worked with the European Union, we've worked with the uh, Japanese government, we've worked with uh, um, uh, the UK government, we've worked with uh, the Dutch, and many other governments have been uh, generous enough to channel their funding through us, and we would like to acknowledge and appreciate this. The work that we do is courtesy of this funding, but also it helps us uh, consolidate the gains that we have as a country brought through the years. As we think through the crisis again, it's important to really uh, put all the credit where it is due. And the government of Bangladesh has taken uh, very commendable efforts in moving forward the, the, the response to help reduce the spread and also the impact. The many programs that have been set up, uh, the safety nets and the economic recovery packages already in place are just commendable actions early on, even before there were any big numbers uh, being talked about in this country. At this point, as an organization, we would like to keep the focus on the women and girls because that is our, our largest mandate in our uh, global mission. And we'd like to really make a point of ensuring that all the work we do uh, in this country does not forget the very unique uh, challenges they face. In times of crisis, we have seen gender-based violence increase, and we've also noted a reduction in uh, opportunities or access to sexual reproductive health for women and girls. And as we work through these programs, we are looking at how to ensure that uh, these are not left behind. The funding may not be sufficient for now. Uh, we also believe that the country has its own resources and we call upon the community members, the private sector, and even those in the diaspora that have an opportunity to spend time thinking through the people of Bangladesh to offer support through their various channels and above all to also be mindful of the situations, especially the mental uh, impact that this crisis is having on people. So sometimes people will need just someone to reach out to them and say hi and say good morning. And that may make a day for somebody. We look forward to uh, being a part of the response. We look forward to providing the government whatever support and to be in full compliance with uh, its directives and guidance uh, as we uh, work in coordination at all levels uh, from the local authorities at the union level to the national coordination committees. 
So this is what CARE is looking forward to. We look forward to collaborate and work closer with you all, the United Nations and all the agencies that have been generous enough to support us in our work in the past and currently, and all of you uh, out there, including the people that we support and work with. Thank you. Thank you.